Welcome to Wednesday evening practice, everybody. Welcome if you're joining us in real life. <laughs> I know that's not the right expression. If you're here in the Shrine Room physically, there are seven of us tonight. And uh, we're joined by four people on Zoom. Sharon, Beth, Chris and Emma, welcome to you as well. Uh, Satya will be leading the practice session this evening. I'm only to be, thank you. Hmm, I'm really struck by the Buddha. Um, and I haven't seen him in this light before. He's quite a new Buddha to the shrine room. We've had him for a few months now and looks really lit up from below <laughs> somehow. It's the light somehow. Oh, is it the light yeah. up? Ah, that's what's happened. Yeah, when we moved into this um, this space, it was a B and B, um, and this was the dining room. So we decided to to make this the shrine room, and then we found this light that was it, it was almost like it was designed just in the little alcove there to um, to spotlight a Buddha. <laughs> so um, yeah, it looks really great. Welcome everybody. Um, it's Chris. Here for the first time as well. Ah, oh, no. Chris, oh, Chris. I was thinking it was a boy, Chris. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk to you about. I've just come back from a week in London at the protests, so my head is still very full of that. Um, it feels like it's going to take a few months to process. Um, and I guess for that reason, because um, the ecological situation has been very much with me and other reasons, impermanence is, is with me. We were walking around the garden just before coming up here and um, I just stepped on the lawn in an ordinary way and my ankle just completely gave way and I fell over. I don't know if there was a dip in the grass or this foot's been a bit weird recently. Um, and also feeling the turning of the seasons. It feels like suddenly we've catapulted from summer into autumn. Wondering how long we can manage to keep the doors open before people will just stop coming because they're too cold. Um, and there's a verse that we say on Saturday mornings, um, which is, time has passed with the swiftness of light. It is already morning. Impermanence rushes upon us every moment. And that phrase, impermanence rushes upon me every moment, is, um, I've heard it many, many times over the years, and it always strikes me as uh, true, as something that that we all live with. I think I'm also thinking about, I had a conversation with Keith just now about uh, Asia and I lived in Asia when I was 12. And that's like, that's, I don't even want to tell you how many years ago that is now, <laughs> when you can start counting things in decades. Um, and we are living through interesting times, still uh, in a pandemic, in, in a pandemic situation, and at a time where the scientific evidence for um, climate change and um, how that will affect us over the coming years is getting more and more indisputable, and the the lack of action of governments across the world is also becoming more and more indisputable. So there is that feeling of, um, of living through great change and not knowing which way that's going to go at the moment. And I think um, as human beings, we like to 
we like to know where we are. We like things to be steady. We like things to be fixed and certain and predictable. And that's just not how life is. But what Buddhism offers us is <clears throat> something that does remain steady in amongst the ups and downs and the, the uncertainties and the, the things that change around us. Represented by this Buddha here who just sits quietly and peacefully and isn't moved. Obviously this Buddha here can't move as far as I know, <laughs> so it's easy for him. <laughs> but the Buddha himself in India two and a half thousand years ago did sit under a tree and was steady throughout the, um, the visions and the temptations and the, the, the um, the emotions that swirled at inside him and outside him. And in that steadiness, the Buddha became enlightened. The Buddha was able to touch the ground and find something that, that doesn't change. So when we come together to practice in this room, we bring with us all of our swirling thoughts and emotions and the lives that, that, that we live, <clears throat> things that happen to us, all of that chaos. And, uh, and we just allow all of that to be here in relationship with this steadiness here. And knowing that this steadiness really sees us, really understands us, and really accepts us. We get to just lean into that. And even if we don't feel more peaceful, we look at the Buddha's face and see that it's possible and see that it's possible to have that experience ourselves. It feels good to be in this room in real life, <laughs> with real life people and real life people joining us from further away. And just reminding myself of that. I always joke that it's just as well I live in a temple with lots and lots of Buddhas in because I need to remember, I need to be reminded all the time of that steadiness. And in a minute, we will sit quietly together. And you might want to imagine yourself sitting with the Buddha, you can sit with this Buddha, you can keep your eyes open and look at him, or you can imagine the Buddha under the tree, under the Bodhi tree. Just allow the qualities of the Buddha to extend out and, and, um, and caress you and Allow them to be absorbed. After a while of silence, I'll start chanting. And the Buddha that we're particularly connected to in this temple is Amitabha, the Buddha of infinite light. So we'll chant Amitabha and you can pick up the tune as we go. Namo <clears throat>
We'll now recite the refuges, precepts and bodhisattva vows together. The bodhisattva vows are on the bit of paper under your chair if you want to uh, join in with them. I've put the links to the words in the chat box as well if you're Very organised. Very organised. So the first, uh, the refuges and the precepts, just repeat after me. For refuge, I go to the Buddha. For refuge, I go to the Buddha. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya. For refuge, I go to the Dharma. For refuge, I go to the Dharma. Namo Dharmaya. Namo Dharmaya. For refuge, I go to the Sangha. For refuge, I go to the Sangha. Namo Sangaya. Namo Sangaya. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not take life. I pray that I may not take life. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not steal. I pray that I may not steal. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not fall into sexual misconduct. I pray that I may not fall into sexual misconduct. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not fall into wrong speech. I pray that I may not fall into wrong speech. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may avoid intoxication. I pray that I may avoid intoxication. Innumerable sentient beings. We vow to save the world. Inexhaustible our deluded passions. We vow to transform them all. Immeasurable are the Dharma teachings. We vow to master them all. Infinite is the Buddha's way. We vow to fulfill it completely. 
So in a minute, Fi will ring the bell and we'll stand and do prostrations. Um, so we point towards the Buddha, just make sure you've got a bit of floor in front of you and do as much or as little as your body uh, is comfortable. So just um, stand and bow if you don't want to go all the way down to the floor. Or we could help you up if anyone wants. <laughs> um, and the words are Namo, I call out to Amidabu, which is the Japanese form of Amitabha. So we're calling out to the Buddha of infinite light. It's <laughs> And then we finish, uh, we always finish by bowing first to each other. So when Fi rings the bell, I will turn towards this way and Cass will turn towards that way and we'll bow and then we'll bow to the opposite direction. Beautifully mm. done. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bit stuck there. <laughs> and then we bow to the Buddha. Hide our seats and bow to our seats. I always forget to bow to the Zoom people. Um, uh, and then we finish with the closing verse, which is on your bit of paper. It's the one that says closing verse. Do unmute if you're on Zoom, if you want to read the verse out with us. Blessed by our entire light, may we care for all living things and the holy earth. And then we need to So announcements, there is a golden bowl in the hallway for donations. The toilets at the top of the stairs. And if you're free to join us for a cup of tea, please do. Or coffee. <laughs> What are you looking at? The carbon marks I've had like something. I know, I noticed that earlier. And it's probably just the... I think it's nearly running out of power. It'll start beeping, you'll know yeah. right when it yeah. goes. <laughs> I've replaced it about three times in the last few years. So. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> it beeps incessantly. 